Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. President Obama, Muslims, the view and me. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points Memo. As you may know, I'm doing some media in support of my new book, Pinheads and Patriots, Where You Stand in the Age of Obama. As part of that, I went on The View this morning and was asked why President Obama's poll numbers are falling. That ignited a fiery debate. Two things are, are driving President Obama's poll numbers down and driving him individually crazy because he didn't expect any of this. The economy is just flat. All right, numbers came out today. Again, they're not good. So that that's number one. But number two... I thought he inherited a lot of money. Yeah, 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 but that, that okay. statue of limitations has run out on that. He I'm spent a trillion sure. dollars. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. When you spend a trillion dollars trying to turn it around, it doesn't work. That's on you, okay? It's not on the kids before you. Uh, macroeconomics is not my deal. I'm just explaining why his numbers are down. So the people see a trillion dollars of their tax money and nothing to show for it yet. But they also see a widening gulf between the president and them personally. And that's what I write about in Pinheads and Patriots. All right, let me give you an example. The mosque. The mosque down here on 9-11. That's inappropriate. It's it's sure they have a right to do it, and 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 in the Constitution. But it's inappropriate because a lot of the 9/11 families, who I know, say, "Look, we don't want that. No, That's who should be about there." That. What about the, what, no, 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 no. But there's the president. There's the president going. Well, they have a right to do it. Yes. And then the guy this says, "And then the this well, is hold America. It, hold it. Listen to me, because you'll learn." <laughs> Yeah, they have a right to do it, and that's true. Yeah. And then the question is, but what about the wisdom of it, Mr. President? And he goes, I'm not going to comment. Whereupon, everybody in the country goes, what? We're Americans. That's one, that's we one agree thing. With you agree with it. No, we're Americans. Americans. I'm an American. Well, let me break this to you. Seventy percent of Americans don't want that moss down there, so don't give me the weed. You want to bet on that? You want to bet? I'll show you that poll in a minute. Americans don't want it. Don't want it well, why is that? But why aren't we saying inappropriate? Why is it inappropriate? Well, well, Seventy percent. We killed this on 9/11. No, 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 oh my God! That is. Muslims didn't kill us on 9/11. Is that what you're saying? Excuse me. What religion were they in? What religion was they in? Listen, listen, listen. 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 Listen, listen.
and I want their audience to hear both sides. I love that exposition today. Didn't you? And that's a memo. Now for the top story tonight. Reaction from both the left and the right. Beginning with Fox News analyst Laura Ingram, author of the big best-selling book, The Obama Diaries. Ms. Laura joins us now from Washington. Hey, Bill, my ears are bleeding. I mean, right. that was wild. It was wild. Nobody expected it, by the way. I didn't expect that to, to yeah, happen. It, it's, yeah, it wasn't a contrived walkout nah. because it looked a little too convenient. No, to no, me. it was Let me tell you. Um, no, well, go ahead. well, Bill, here's, here's what I say. Uh, it, who gave Joy Behar uh, the badge? Uh, I, last time I checked, she wasn't an official uh, a speech police officer, but apparently she's appointed herself uh, as such. And I'm, I'm a little surprised that Whoopi Goldberg would go down that road because she said some really sensible things uh, lately when I was on The View and, and I know when you've been on before about taxes and so forth. But, but here we're at a point in our country, Bill, where you can't actually say something that is true without getting jumped and without people getting up saying inane things like uh, repeating themselves over and over again without making an argument walking off the stage and then demanding an apology essentially from you well look, i find that to be mind-blowing and i want I, i'm interested to hear your opinion on this and also alicia menendez a liberal is coming up behind you on her opinion oh, good. Too. the distinction that uh, ms behar and ms goldberg make is that you can't say in this country muslims attacked us you have they to consider say, themselves Muslim. You they have consider to say, themselves Muslim. Of course Muslim. they do, and they're justifying their attack by what Allah is telling them to do. But you can't say, you must say Muslim extremists, and I submit to you and everybody watching tonight that after 10 years, we got it. We know the difference between peace abiding Muslims and people who well, make war under the banner of Islam. We yeah, know well, that. But yeah, wait, wait, well, here's the question. Yeah. As I mentioned in Talking Points Memo. Did we say in World War II, we were attacked by Japanese extremists? Or German this is, this, extremists. Did Bill, we do that? No. no of we said we, we were attacked Bill, by Japanese. This, this, we were attacked by Muslims. That's this, who attacked us. Bill, this this is an example of where the elites fall off the cliff in the media and the regular folks out there watching going, How how did that just happen? Because they're essentially accusing you of using bigoted language. I don't think they think you're a bigot, I know. but bigoted it's, language. I don't know. Let me just it's say, so can crazy. I can let me, Bill, I, I did some research here, okay? Joy Behar herself has said the following things about Christians, okay? She called homeschooling parents demented. She has made fun of the Catholic saints as people who needed psychotropic drugs. She has called uh, people who stand for traditional marriage, ridiculed them as Bible thumpers. With Ann Coulter, she talked and in, 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 uh, mocked uh, Christian women's uh, sexual habits. She said prayer is anti-intellectual. Raising the ire of Elizabeth Hasselbeck said prayer takes the place of logical thinking. Can you imagine if you had said those things about Muslims, what they would have done? Okay. I can't imagine. Now, but she is guilty of what she claims you are doing. She's actually truly guilty of that type of anti-Catholic, anti-Christian uh, speak on her show. Right. Well, and you it's watch been the documented. show more than I do, uh, so I don't know that. But, well, but, uh, but, let me well, educate here's, you here's on the, that. It's anti-Catholic. Here's the like big it. political question. I submit in Pinheads and Patriots that it's not only the economy that's really hurting the president right now, but it is the gulf that is being created between him and the folks. Not all the folks, liberal people still love him, but working class Americans can't understand when you ask a simple question to the chief executive, what about the wisdom of building this? And he goes, I'm not gonna comment on the wisdom. I, I submit to you that that is part of the Obama perception problem. That's the that, point I was trying to make here. I wasn't that, trying to ridicule people in Riyadh no, and in no Islamabad. But, but what they're doing, I just want to be very clear so people listening understand what's going on. What they did today was an attempt to intimidate others. They know they're never going to intimidate you, but it's really, it's, it's really disturbing to me because people who say that they're for free speech, and Barbara Walters usually does a pretty good job of moderating that, I mean, to come back and say that you are the pinhead after they embarrass themselves walking off their own set, that was embarrassing. They're treating you like Mahmoud Ahmadinejad at the UN, and you're a lot taller than Mahmoud, Bill. So, I mean, I mean it's ridiculous. I mean, this, this is an attempt hey, but I to didn't shut take down offense political speech. Walt. I have to say, I didn't take offense at, at Barbara's... Uh, uh, well, you should have. You're not no, a pinhead. Well, you she, sometimes you're a pinhead, but not this time. She sees it sincerely sees it, and if you say Muslims attacked America on 9-11, you are somehow denigrating an entire people. I don't see it that way. It's as simple as Bill, that. Bill, here's, what is really, here's what's really happening. 
is that I think a lot of the gals on The View, they're kind of freaking out, right? Because the hope and change thing and Obama and the insignia and, and the star power and all the celebrities and all the Hollywood people who loved him, all of that has resulted in anemic approval numbers and a Republican conservative Tea Party resurgence. Right. And they don't know what to do. So they're trying to you know, create these sideshows and I think you did just fine. Thank you, Laura, I appreciate that. Next on the, uh, I was gonna say next on The View. <laughs> Next, the view from the left, so to speak. Also a big male.